Hey everybody, I'm Becky Adams. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel today. Today I have a, yes, a viewer favorite. I've got a layout share for you. I have, I think, 15 or so layouts and let's just jump in and get started. So this layout I've had done for a while. It's very simple, but I love the story behind it. Um, I created it with an uh, let's see, it was by Cartabella, and I honestly don't remember the name of the collection, but it was centered around like a family game night. This one is one that has been really popular and a lot of fun over on Instagram, and it's been on my Instagram as well as the Scrapbook and Cards Today Instagram, well actually all their social media channels. So I did a process video for them for um, International Scrapbook Day. So make sure to hop on over to their channel and there's a full process video for this project. So this is one that I actually just published the process video for um, yesterday. So make sure and look for that. It is one that actually the thumbnail looks like, or is of this project. And I did it, both of these projects in one video. And it's using the same collection, um, Farmhouse Garden by Simple Stories. But I did this one as more of a, more of a distressed um, look. And then this one has a clean and simple look. So this one, I've got lots of distressed edging as well as um, kind of thread, messy thread. I was channeling my inner Missy Widden on this one. Um, lots of stitching and these photos that I have of our garden, or I guess of produce that we got from our garden, um, fit perfect for that collection. So this one is one that I did, again, with the Farmhouse Garden Collection, and it is a much cleaner and simpler look. There's no distressing, um, really clean lines. Anyway, one of my favorites, this one does have hidden journaling there. This one I did for Hip Kit Club. This is with the April 2021 kits and one of their subscriber cut files. So if you're a subscriber to the Hip Kit Club, you will have access to this cut file. And these are using the, I think, think this is a Hip Kit Club exclusive, but there's um, collection or products from Simple Stories and Maggie Holmes in this one and actually Prima. These little gems are from Prima. This is one that I have shared over on my Instagram. It was a magazine submission that did not get chosen but I still I love it. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Um, I challenged myself to use a lot of ribbon trims and buttons. So one thing that's kind of fun about this project is that a lot of these buttons and some of the trims, let's see, there's that one and that one, um, came from my grandmother's sewing box. So that was kind of fun on this one. And the rest of these products, uh, most of it is from older stuff from Bella Boulevard and then some from Keep It Simple. So there is a full process video for this one as well on layering ribbons and trims. It's um, kind of a fun, little bit different video. And I've got some buttons and the rest of it is using the Peachy Keen collection by Fancy Pants. So that's where all the embellishments came from. Um, this title is from American Crafts, the uh, Navy Thickers. This one, there's also a process video, just a quick process video. This one is using the Safe Travels collection by Simple Stories, as well as some of their Color Vibe um, letter stickers. This one is about um, 
what we, I guess our little family trying to navigate um, the anniversary of my son's passing as well as his birthday because they're just a couple of days apart. Oh, this one has obviously a fun sketch to go with it. There is a full process video on this one. This was for, I believe it was for International Scrapbook Day for the Hip Kit Club. This is using the April 2021 kits. And there's products from American Crafts and Simple Stories. This is a really fun um, quilted background that has... Anyway, for it's pretty simple for the big impact that it makes. This one um, I did for Simple Stories um, International Scrapbook Day hop, uh, blog or er, Instagram hop, excuse me. And it's using the School Life collection and then some of their uh, Color Vibe letter stickers, a favorite of mine. There is lots of journaling under there. Um, I made it hidden for a couple of reasons. I wanted to use my handwriting, and when I use my handwriting and I have a lot to say, it takes up a ton of space. Like this one would have taken up um, an entire eight by eight square, actually a little bit more. Um, and some of the journaling is a little more personal than what I would typically share online. So that's just tucked away. And then when I put it in the um, sheet protector, I will just make a slit along the side right here and pull that this flap through so that when they're flipping through the album, they can um, read the journaling as well. This one is mostly from the, actually there's a few products here. So the pattern paper is from American Crafts, the new Amy Tan collection. And then the embellishments are from the Summer collection from Cartabella. And then this Love This portion is from Pink Fresh Studio. So this is a fun double page spread, lots of stitching, um, a few photos, and the one thing I wanted to show you on this one is to don't be afraid to cut your embellishments in half. If they fit perfectly and in one spot, like right here I created a visual triangle with my embellishments, it fit perfectly so I just cut that in half so that, um, and it'll be split between the page protectors, um, but that's okay, it'll still have that splash of color there that I needed to complete the design. Um, one of my favorite techniques is stitching the journaling in place. This one is, there is a process video for this one up on my channel as well. This is from the Hip Kit, um, let's see, March 2021 kit. And this features eight black and white photos. It's kind of a I guess some of my favorite photos from March and I create I printed out my journaling used journaling strips and then I love I added kind of a bulleted list with enamel dots so that was a fun project this one is from the new Paige Evans wonders collection there's also a full process video uh, on my channel for this one um, really fun kind of I guess this is one of the first photos I took um, outside this spring even though it's still kind of brown and um, there's even a little bit of snow in the background uh, but one thing I wanted to show you on this one so I started stitching around the edge of this page and when I got about halfway the thread ran out of my sewing machine but I didn't want anyway and I missed it and I didn't want to go back around and have two sets of holes so I just kept going and then took out the section that had thread in it and honestly you would never know it looks just like regular stitching this one I created with the 
I believe it was the January 2021 hip kit. Uh, I got a small hexagon punch and I just started punching with what was on my desk and that happened to be what was on my desk that time or at that time and I created kind of a fun um, kind of quilted minus the stitching. I did not want to stitch through all those tiny hexagons but um, kind of a quilted piece in each of the corners. And then I added this really fun trim whoops, um, around the edges. I love these stickers. They are hip, or I guess letter stickers. They are Hip Kit Club exclusive. There's a little bit of stitching around the edges. Um, really fun, fun paid, fun project. This one I created with the Simple Stories Sunkissed collection. It's got just one, I think this is a 3x3 three three photo and this one's a 2x2 two two photo. I've got this flap that has uh, my journaling underneath. So when I put it in the page protector, I'll just make a slit in the page protector right there. And then when I slide it in, I will leave this flap out. So. I think my favorite feature on this one, other than the, the flap, is this cute pom-pom trim. So, all right, that's the last one. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am so grateful that you took time out of your day to spend with me. If you haven't done so already, I would love to have you as a new subscriber. I publish a new video every Sunday and then usually one or two throughout the week. I usually have one or two layout shares a month depending on how many projects I get done and then lots of process videos as well. So thank you again for stopping by and I'll see you again soon.